Hey guys, this is Mike. And Joe. From Deep Wood Force of Will. Deep Wood. Deep Wood. Nice. Very nice. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Welcome know, to our ruler ratings video. Yep, I know you guys have been asking for this a lot ever since we did our ruler guides. Uh, we decided that instead of just doing it piece by piece, we're just going to do like a rapid fire review of all the rulers that we've had ever since the beginning of Force of Will in the US. Which uh, is Grim Cluster. Yep, uh, we're not unfortunately including Valhalla rulers just because we never got a chance to experience them over on our neck of the woods here. And uh, also a lot of them are just broken and not allowed to be played in Wander anyway, so who cares? Yep, exactly. We're going by anything that's actually like tournament recognized. So uh, with that being said, we could just hop right into it, starting with the first card from Grim Cluster we see. And that is Pandora, Girl of the Box. And we're talking about the Pandora light side this time. Yep, now the Pandora dark side, we'll see that later, just because it does come later in the set. I really did like the dichotomy between the light and dark side of the Pandoras, though. Yeah, it definitely had a lot of good stuff going for it there. Yeah. Um, but uh, if we're looking at it right now, uh, I think I can only give her about a 5 out of 10. Um, obviously, I really like that over-the-shoulder view that we have from the other side. The ponytail is long and flowing and doesn't make sense because she starts out with short hair. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not sure what's going on there, but also... Uh, I think she gets a few extra points for me due to those thigh highs she has in the ruler side. Yep, very nice, very nice. I, I do like skirts. I do like the long purple hair. It's a very good combination. Uh, just a little bit too girly for me. She just looks like uh, she's just ready for, I don't know, to tell you how bad her tea time. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, with that being said, uh, I think we rate her a better. What, a mid-tier waifu? Yeah, decent waifu. Perfect. All right. Uh, on to the next one. Uh, we have Little Red Riding Hood. Now, uh, and also Little Red the Wolf Girl. As we can tell, Little Red Riding Hood is a little girl or a little wolf girl. Unfortunately, because of that, I don't think we can really accurately score her. Yeah, I mean, if we're forced to score, we're going to have to because that's what we're doing here. But, um, I mean, she has a nice outfit on the red hood is nice i yep. guess the pose in the uh, little red the wolf girl side is very dynamic and very interesting with one claw going out to the sky uh i think that's very interesting but unfortunately because she is a little girl and we don't kind of flow with that uh i can only give her about a one out of ten i'm gonna say zero just because that that shit don't fly yep you're right you're right so a uh, little red riding hood little red wolf girl decidedly not a very good waifu yeah i'm gonna say it's not a waifu excellent all right uh, onto the next slide, we have Snow White and Bloody Snow White. Um, these two, I really like what they did with the Snow White uh, art style, just because of the, the, like, the heavy, like, flowy lines. The dress looks fantastic with the style. Uh, the other side has very strange, splotchy red marks all over it. It's, it basically looks like it's been done in oil, and I really like that as an art style, but as an actual waifu? I, uh, I don't agree with it. Uh, like, the first side is nice and serene, but doesn't really seem... I don't know, um, you know, wifeable. Yeah, I mean, she looks like she's ready for a wedding, so there's points there, but the thing is she still looks like a little girl in a dress and just looks like she's ready for tea time again. And then the other side is just, I don't know what's going on there, and I don't think I could, I, I don't think I could deal with that. Looks like she's going to start singing the uh, nursery rhyme from Friday the 13th. Uh, and with that being said, I can only go for about a 2 out of 10 with her. Um, I'm about a 1 out of 10. I'm going to say not a wife. Not a wife. Absolutely. You're correct there, Joe. All right, on to the next. We have Nameless Girl and Jean d'Arc, the Flame of Hatred. All right. Uh, she's a little bit on the crazy side, but uh, if you look at the Nameless Girl, she looks like a very nice person. Looks like you could, you know, take her out for a nice lunch. Yeah. Um, personally speaking, I was uh, very big into history back in high school, and I know the story of Jean d'Arc. Uh, I'm not a big fan of wifing her up due to the outcome of that scenario. Well, as a Force of Will card, she is gorgeous, especially if you go to her backside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot going on there, and she's riding a really cool horse, it looks like. And she murders all humans. And she murders all humans, that's that's pretty okay. Um, normally people are shunned for doing that, but we'll, <laughs> we'll give, <laughs> we'll give uh, Jean uh, a little benefit of the doubt, but um, unfortunately due to my personal biases, I can only give her about 3 out of 10. The artwork is nice, but just the, uh, the name... The, the pedigree of Jean d'Arc really just interrupts my uh, feelings here. Well, on my side, I'm, you know, I couldn't go past all of her history and, you know, you know, maybe she'd make a good waifu. Maybe she won't murder you if you're the, the husbando. Oh, maybe she won't. You're right. Yeah. But I'm not willing to take that risk. I'm going to say not a waifu. I'm going to say is a waifu. And I think this is one of the only times we will actually differ here. <laughs> yeah, because the rest of them are just lollies versus. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 
Uh, speaking of, eh, not really speaking of anything, uh, Seer of the Blue Moon and Kaguya Princess of the Moon. Uh, very interesting cards. Two of the first cards we saw really uh, work with the chance standby mechanic. Um, I think this card would have really benefited from having some crocker sharks in the picture. That would have really upped the waifu right, rating for absolutely, me. Absolutely, absolutely. Would have been a fantastic way to do things. And also, I think she would have gotten more points if you actually saw the backside. Yeah. Yeah, just her front side is a little boring. She covers up her face. I'm not a big fan of just having her face covered because she's got very, she's very easy on the eyes. I'd yeah, say. she has very nice eyes. Um, the long flowing gray hair really helps show how old she is. Right. You know, it definitely stands out from the purple that you see in some of her other arts. Good old G milf. Yeah. So there's some benefit there, but she's a little old for me. Yeah, I would say, given all the things we've talked about, we both ended up going with the 5 out of 10 rating. I think I just went with it because of the uh, the nice figure we see in the second picture. and um, I like the art overall. I think yeah. she has some very traditional garb and gives her like that uh, authoritative look, almost. Exactly. That's, so, that's very, very true. Very well said. Yeah, I'd say it's a decent waifu. Yep, mid-tier waifu. Uh, onto the next, we have Christy the Wind Tracker and Helsing the Vampire Hunter. This is one of those uh, grim cards where the card changes pretty drastically between the front and the back. But um, overall, I'm a pretty big fan of uh, both sides, actually. Uh, I kind of give more points to Helsing just because I really like the dynamic pose of the second picture over the one of the first one. Uh, Christy the Wind Tracker is just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm tracking down some vampires, no big deal. Uh, pigtails flowing in the background. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of uh, braided tails like that. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Mm. But uh, the second side, though, that flowing uh, almost platinum blonde just really speaks to me. Yeah, and uh, she has a very revealing outfit. I know you're uh, big into those. Always, always. Uh, a little um, bit of thigh action. I've always been a big fan of petticoats, actually, and uh, the petticoat looks really good on her. Absolutely. I agree um, with that. And also, I like the elf guard on the Christy side, so I think both sides have good merit to them. Absolutely, with that, uh, I ended up going a little bit lower than Joe as a 6 out of 10. I think she's a, a fairly high mid-tier waifu, I would say. Yeah, if this is your waifu, I'd be fine to support it. I think Absolutely. You have I a think, good choice here. I think you're correct. <laughs> uh, on to the next, we see again Pandora Girl of the Box. But this time, instead of uh, Pandora of Light, we see Pandora of Dark. So with Pandora of Dark, it actually changes things up a little bit. Because, you know, you got Pandora Girl of the Box, you know, you don't really know what kind of secret she's hiding, but after you go to Pandora Dark, you know, she's got a dark side, and that's when things get a little spicy. It's when she gets freaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, um, points, again, for the thigh highs on the left side, but also for the thigh highs on the right side. You get a really nice amount of thigh in that picture. I mean, that's the thigh high. Well, what's the little thing in the middle? Is that just, like, a thing wrapped around your leg? It, I forget what it's called, but it's a... That's literally what it is. A dangle? It, yeah. A dangle. It, that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> But it's uh, definitely a pretty sexual piece, so yeah, it's good for a waifu. Absolutely, it's perfect. And again, her hair starts off short and just flows out into this weird light brown coloration, which I am a very big fan of. And also, she apparently loves to hang around sakura trees, which is what's in the background. Yep, and I'm a big fan of a sakura. Yeah, honestly, with all that being said, 7 out of 10 for Pandora of Dark. I am very on board with this. I went a little bit lower, just because I, I kind of like rounded out my views between light and dark, so... I'm going to go with a 6 out of 10. Fair Pre enough. Pretty good wife, though. Agreed. Jolly cooperation. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you didn't see. We, we shook hands. <laughs> uh, on to the next one. Uh, this is where we start going into the uh, tower. What was it? The... Uh, twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the <laughs> Oh, bleep that. <laughs> no. Um, we start going into Gr G2. Grim 2. Uh, and uh, we start off with the Sacred Princess of Guidance. Uh, also, Lumia, the creator of hope. Uh, Sacred Princess and Lumia are kind of, it's a little weird, because she's around the same age as Grimm, who I think is like late teens, early 20s in this era. I think so. I don't know, he could be been like, you know, around for a millennia or so, but he's a human. Yeah, you never know, whatever. <laughs> Force well <world> lore. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, with that being said, um, I'm not a huge fan of the Princess Leia buns. Uh, I know a lot of Star Wars fans are going to critique me on that and probably uh, dislike this video immediately as I say that. But the first side, I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't really like the bow that much. It's just a lot of stuff, like extra stuff that I think is just used too much over everything else. Um, so in these two pictures, like, Lumia's always been a chimera where, you know, you have a split uh, genomes showing up so like she has the split hair with, between white and brown and then like her eyes are two different colors I think it was that uh, heterochromia it's heterochromia but you can just say that they have a chimera, chimera genome ah. 
Um, so it's very odd to just see that. You kind of wonder if they're okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, yeah. what kind of issues are going on there? Are you saying that you're worrying about your waifu? Yeah. You know, you, you don't want your waifu to just be, like, dying on you. That's a problem. You don't want your waifu to die, foo. <laughs> Also, you can't really see mu too much of Lumia in the uh, second picture, so there's not really much to say. In the first picture, she just looks kind of nerdy. Yeah, she's a little droopy in the first picture. Second picture, I really like the art style, though, and I like the anti-symmetry but symmetrical feel because she's, like, d dead center. Right. I like that a lot. So, with that being said, I gave her a 2 out of 10. Um, I don't think, like, everything culminating together, I'm not a huge fan of her. I think she's very low tier on the waifu scale, in this form at least. Yeah, and... I'm going to go with 1 out of 10. Again, you, there's other forms of Lumia that make her a much better waifu. Absolutely. Moving on to Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's Alice in Wonderland. She's about, what, it's like 10, 12 years old? She's a little girl. Yeah, she's a little girl. Uh, that's actually her race, and she's also a wanderer little girl. Uh, fucked up shit with Lewis Carroll. Uh, <laughs> can't forget all that. With that being said, we both gave her that 1 out of 10 treatment because we are not going to be rating um, somebody. Again, nice dress and just long, full, blown. Uh, blonde hair is but, just something that we can But her enjoy. source material is creepy. So, yeah. uh, goodbye, Alice. <laughs> now, moving on. Now, here's our first idea of a high tier waifu. Absolutely. Crimson Girl in the Sky and Little Red the True Fairy Tale. Let me just tell you this. I told you before that I'm not a big fan of the long braided, like, tails coming off. Uh, Crimson Girl rocks it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely brings it out. Uh, she's also friendly with animals, you know, you gotta love that. Yep, you gotta have a waifu that knows how to, her uh, animals. The thigh highs go all the way up. Yep, thigh highs are great. She's wearing a corset, which really helps accentuate her figure. Yep, and uh, them titty though. Yep, them titty though. So, uh... She's also ancient, I don't know what that means, and she's little girl race, so apparently that... Our theory about little girls just being not <laughs> likable is a kind of breaks here but then she's also ancient so i guess that like i think that counterbalances each other it just turns into girl and fa fairy tale <laughs> right exactly exactly <laughs> they, they cancel each other out it's like it's like doing addition yeah <laughs> <laughs> or really really weird division anyway uh she's a 9 out of 10 both of our books uh, no doubt about it she's she's just a little bit off from being a 10 out of 10 absolutely if it wasn't for that little girl tag i think she'd be a 10 out of 10 probably or ancient i don't yeah. think either of those tags are very good <laughs> true i would not want to date an ancient <laughs> yes I am not into G milfs. <laughs> but I will say I do love the text on this card too. I would love to play it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, on to the next. We have Pandora the Weaver of Myth and Grimia the Savior of Myth. This is a little bit of a weird one, just because Pandora start, looks very nice. Yeah, you start off with a very, very good Pandora picture. Uh, the nice thighs. The veil too. Uh, you mm. see a little bit of side boob, like not a lot, yeah. but just enough to where it really matters. Yeah, so I think you got a pretty good picture on the first side, but then you go over to Grimia and you're just like, what happened? Yeah, Grimia is extremely, uh, a little bit too tomboyish for our tastes. I know some of you out there will probably be very into that kind of like, uh, buffer, more masculine woman look. Yeah. Uh, I, I can. I can agree with that to an extent, but again, I would like to see the feminine figure in my eyes. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't rate Grimmy much higher than that. Joe, do you have any... I mean, to be fair, I think Pandora is the actual per the ruler here, and then she summons Grimia because uh... she's an avatar. Which... This is very true. Yeah, because I think Pandora summoning Grimia out of that stone there. I'm not very well versed with Grimlore because I came in on a... Alice cluster, cluster at the very start of it. So I'm gonna say there's kind of a wash here. I, if we're looking at Grimia, it's a problem, but Pandora is good. That's why we have a little bit of a mid ground rating between like a yeah. seven and a zero. Yeah, exactly. Like we really can't decipher that too well. So we can't go much higher, but we don't wanna go too low. I gave it four out of 10 just because I think she's like kind of low mid tier, at least from the front side going to the back side. Yeah, I I would give her much higher points if it was just like Pandora's front side and that's it. Yeah, but, if she was a single sided ruler, but then you would defeat the purpose because that front side would do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, but it's good art. Yep, good art. And decent waifu. Sick. Uh, on to the next, we have Moon Princess of Stellar Wars and Kaguya the Immortal Princess. This is like the weird part of Grimm that I don't really understand. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Kaguya is just like, hacker, hacker voice, I'm in, on the front side. And then on the back side, she just like has a bajillion different things. Yeah, red leader, standing by. Red, blue leader, excuse me, she's, <laughs> she's water. <laughs> So, um, it's Red Leader calling out to her. Red Leader calling out to her. I, I do like how she has the uh, crystal ball uh, from the seer on the top of her uh, parasol up there in the top left. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, you get some, you get some cool little factors here. Uh, with that being said, I gave her about a C3PO out of 10. Um, and I gave her about a... Yeah, uh, that's a pretty good rating, honestly. I think that we can kind of deal with that. Um, again, Blue Leader just knows what she's doing. Uh, if you have your treasure items out, uh, she can really find that uh, that hole in the enemy base, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if you ever have to go through a turret run, she's your girl. Yeah, uh, top tier uh, sci-fi waifu. Yes, <laughs> I'll <laughs> agree with that. Wi-Fi sci-fu. <laughs> Wi-Fi sci-fu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on to the next. We have Liberator of Wind and Shahrazad, the Teller of a Thousand and One Stories. So this is a little odd because the first side looks like incredibly young. Yeah, like, like way too young. Like six. <laughs> um, we don't fuck with that. Yeah, but the backside looks like she's like, I don't know, a teenager. She could be 18. A little bit of a questionable there, so. Yeah. Um, I, I would like to give the benefit of the doubt and say that she's much older as a wanderer. I feel like she would get more worldly experience. Right. Going, getting older. Um, so I kind of gave her the benefit of the doubt there, but there's still that question yep, that's exactly. still in my mind. And the front side being that little girl is just like, uh, maybe we should stay away. Yeah, so we kind of averaged it out there. Both of us went with that 4 out of 10 rating there. Like, the, I um, think she's a very cute teenager. Yeah, that's what she looks like. She's very cute. She She's she's inquisitive. She's got her eyes in the book. Mm -hmm. You see she's wide-eyed and full of hope. And flip side, just this elegance about her that I think really merits that uh, 4 out of 10 rating we see. I, I think she's the best looking Scheherazade out of the ones that we've seen. The best looking Scheherazade out of all the rulers. Yes. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going on now, we go to Vingolf 2, which is where we got five new waifus and yep. a set full of waifus, but we stick well, we stuck it to the rulers just because it wouldn't be fair to just go through all those because we'd be here forever. And also, they're all male names, which is kind of weird, but I yep. don't know. Hannibal Barca here. It's kind of the ugliest name I've ever heard of for a yeah, woman. Yeah, Hannibal Bark is a pretty gross name for a woman, but the artwork isn't too bad. Um, she's got a nice little scarf, uh, a very nice little uh, dress set, with the dress flowing out from the skirt. Yeah, it's interesting. And then she has, like, shorts under her skirt, under the dress. Yep, and long boots. Yeah, it's definitely a general. Yep, and then in the second picture, she just gets, like, a hair clip. Yep. Powerful. Very powerful. It shows you you J-activate when you get a hair clip. The hair clip gives you target attack. <laughs> and 8-8 body. <laughs> and an 8-8 body, exactly. With that being said, I, with all that in mind, I went with a 4 out of 10, just because I thought she was a little uh, mid-tier, but not that mid-tier. I give her a little bit higher at a 5 out of 10. I could definitely see why you'd be attracted to her. Yeah. She's absolutely. very cute. Exactly. Uh, on to Alexander. That's a big old note for me, because she looks about 12, maybe even lower. I mean, she, her, she's smaller than her sword. Yeah, so. and the sword is the sword's big, but it shouldn't be that big. I mean, it's probably like a normal size for a sword, and she's just that small. Oh, I don't like hearing that. Also, oh. she's a king, and yeah. she's a king is also a very weird sentence, so I think yep. I'm almost on the opinion that it's a trap, too. Yeah, 1 out of 10. <laughs> 1 out of 10. <laughs> Although, don't tell that to Jason Sim. Jason Sim would not like to hear that we are digging in on traps. Oh, no, there's nothing wrong with traps if you're into that. Yep, absolutely. Next, we have Julius Caesar. Uh, Julius Caesar, I think, was a really good uh, waifu here, just getting uh, the very nice, elegant Greek clothing, but then adding on armor when you judgment, but also keeping that same elegance and grace we see in the first picture. I, I really like the way that Julius Caesar looks in that regard. Yeah, and it's, uh, I actually like her as a J-Ruler. You know, you draw two cards on Enter. Good way to refill. And A10, pretty good. But again, that's not what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms of art, uh, short blonde hair, definitely a pro. And then the outfit is just, I'd say, A+, plus almost. Yeah, she's got a leg up on me on the artwork there. <laughs> hey! hey. Uh, thighs are great. 4 out of 10 for me. Um, again, she's got a really nice elegance to her. I put her around a mid-tier. Uh, very, I'm very mid-tier on a lot of the Vingolf 1 rulers. If you want to think about that, yeah, a lot of them are just kind of odd. Yeah, you just look they, you look like you want to keep them at arm's distance. Exactly, but within sight. Yeah. <laughs> so decent yeah. waifu. Yeah, mid tier. Going on to Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Uh, first of all, one of the hardest names to ever to say in the entirety of Force of Will. I'm not attempting it. Nice. Um, she's right. warlord, and I can't really figure out what she looks like, but yeah. because her garb is just so wide she it's looks big. very very thick it's wide and busy yeah she looks thick but then you look at the legs and you realize she's got like little twiggy legs and uh that's not thick enough for me and i was saying it 
just doesn't make sense to me, unfortunately. Yeah. I can't give her a very high rating. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with a 2 out of 10. Yeah, I went with a 4 out of 10. Uh, the only reason I went with a 4 out of 10 is that face tattoo in the second picture is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it got some points there. And also, I, I just realized the bun in her, like the little buns in her hair turned into horns. Interesting. Very, very aggressive. Very strange. All right. And on to everybody's favorite, Vlad Tepes. Why are there two pictures here? Oh, right. She does have a backside. Oh, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, everyone's favorite vampire is uh, here. And she's good at sucking life. Yeah. This, she's probably good at other things. She's good at suck. <laughs> <laughs> She also gets a uh, very Japanese looking with all the chains that uh, get added to her, yeah. going flipping between sides, and her sword it's, becomes very odd looking. Yeah, it's basically just a Final Fantasy. This isn't my final form character at that point. Yeah, but overall, I really do love the dress on her. Looks great, very yeah. form fitting. A very interesting thing is that her weird form fitting dress at the top also turns into a boob window, which I give plenty of bonus points for. Yep, uh, boob I'm windows are fantastic. Always a fan. Always a very big fan. And um, why not just open the window? Also, if you don't, if you didn't notice, if you look really closely, she's wearing like platform shoes. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's very '80s of her. She's really with the times. She's probably seen the '80s, both the 1980s and the 1880s, being how old she is. So, <laughs> man, you're really trying to push this down on me. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. <laughs> uh, with that being said, I give her six out of ten. Uh, definitely uh, a mid to high tier wife, though, I would say. Yeah, I gave her a 7 out of 10, which puts her, like, at the bottom of high tier waifus. Um, I think she's just got a lot of flavor, and if you like her, I think you got a good reason to. Absolutely. And with that being said, I think that's the end of Grim Cluster from what we have here. That's the end of Grim. Because Millennia of Ages didn't present us any new waifu rulers. Or and, rulers in general! And Millennia of Ages just doesn't count. <laughs> nope! 50 card set. Yep. So long. Uh, moving on to Alice Cluster, though, we start off with Faria the Secret Queen and Faria the Ruler of God's Sword. Uh, we're going with this art because this is my preferred art. Yeah, um, absolutely. The other one has too much chin. Yeah, a little bit too much chin. If you're a fan of chin, uh, by all means, enjoy that artwork, but we're going to stick with this one for now. And this is also the first artwork I ever saw of Faria. I'm just going with this just because I think it will get a higher rating. Yep. Anyway, um, the hairstyle on this, fantastic. Whoever a stylist is deserves a raise. Just all over the place. Very well form-fitting to the shape of her armor as well. The hair really works well with it. Yeah, and she also wields Excalibur. You know, it's a, that's a big sword. I give her lots of props for being able to wield that around. Yeah, it, you know what they say about girls that wield good swords. Yeah, they wield good swords. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I do think that she is quite beautiful. Absolutely, and the the crown detail. I actually really love that crown detail. Yeah, and I don't know what she's doing in that second picture. Apparently, like swallowing everyone's soul from the battlefield. I hope she's God's arting, because <laughs> <laughs> she could recover my resonators anytime. I give her a 6 out of 10 in uh, my book. I also gave her about a 6 out of 10, but I gave her a 7 instead. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's close. <laughs> that's really close. I give her a 7 because she's a 7 king. No, I'm kidding. Hey, shut up. Yes. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, let's move on to... Mm, it's Valentina. It's Valentina. <laughs> if any of you know Mike, he loves Valentina. I love Valentina. Every form. Yep. Ex uh, not every no, form. No, no, every form. This form. This form. This form right here. We're this, gonna talk. This we're gonna talk about form. this one. We're gonna talk about this exact form. Are you ready? Because this form. Just look at. The, like, we're gonna start from the top. All right. So crown. She's got, <laughs> she's got a whole nice crown. Like, look at that. It's got little things flowing off of it. She's, she's got the long, flowy blonde hair. Those yellow eyes. The choker around her neck, going into the form-fitting tight dress with the titty. And the big scepter, and okay, that's that's the front side. The front side's fantastic. She's got bubbles all around her. She's the princess of love. She's the queen of the water. She's great. <laughs> and then she flips over into the ruler of paradise, and she keeps the titty, but she also gets an even more form-fitting outfit and more swords and uh, dudes piling up behind her. We're going to skip that part. <laughs> <laughs> and just, oh, God. Joe, do you have anything to add to this? I, I think you hit every single point. Sick. 15 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I did a 9 out of 10 because that's within the, <laughs> the rating zone. <laughs> no, I, fuck the rating zone. This is, this is, this is Valentina. This is good. She's good. I think she could get one more point somewhere. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I gave her an extra five, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, moving forward, we got Percy the Beast Lady uh, and Percy the Commander of the Sacred Beast. This is such a fucking buzzkill out of the, after the last one. Oh, God. Uh, 
I give the tiger behind her about a six out of ten. That's a gorgeous tiger. The tiger's great. I love tiger. Every every sacred beast. Is that beast... Baihu? Uh, yes, that's Baihu. Ah, yes. Just remember that every sacred beast is better suited in a deck that isn't Persia than Persia. Yeah, but we shouldn't judge her because she's a bad card. We should judge her because she's a terrible waifu. Ooh. <laughs> he said it. I'll, uh, I'll be the one to say it. Joe, you can get less hate. All right. I'll be the one to say that, you know, she's definitely interesting looking. She's a little bit too much of a neko for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she's like 12. Kind of. She looks like 16. Still. <laughs> yeah. And then the blue hair just like, just says to me like daddy issues. Fangs in there. It's just, mm, yeah. I hate fang girls. We, we have a couple problems with her, but yeah. Mike gives a straight zero. Straight zero, goose egg. Nope, not not my waifu. <laughs> I give it two. I, she's definitely cute. She gets that. But she's bottom tier. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, moving on, we've got Alice the Girl in the Looking Glass. Also, Alice the Saint of Healing and Alice the Valkyrie of Fairy Tales. If you're asking why we put these all together, unlike Pandora of Light and Dark, it's because they actually show up together on their uh, card numbers. Yeah, which is interesting. To say yeah. the least. Um, Alice the girl in the looking glass looks like she's 12 still, so. And that's, she's a pawn. Yep. Uh, that's weird. That's a big, <laughs> that's a big old note from us. Uh, Saint I Healing is. I say Valkyrie of Fairy Tales. If you're going to give any points to her, they go there. Yeah, absolutely. And Saint of Healing, there's really not much to tell about her. Everything's covered up very well. She looks elegant, and her staff is very uh, nice and soothing looking, but. She definitely looks like she's. A bishop, religious. Just yep. Not giving anything but, up. But I don't do religious girls. Yeah. Valkyrie, on the other hand, she get that look over the shoulder like, oh, I yeah. see you. Yeah, she's got, she's got a lot there. But uh, sticking to our rating of Alice from before, again, this is pretty much the same character, so 1 out of 10. Yeah, she didn't get any older, somehow. Nope. <laughs> Despite wandering around. Oh well. Yep. Uh, next up, of course, we have everybody's favorite waifu. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have Billy Buttons. On the right-hand side, uh, the community's true waifu, Billy Buttons. Uh, this is our favorite ruler-j-ruler combo from yeah. the whole game, honestly. Honestly, yeah. I really wish this was printed after Alice Cluster, so we could still be playing this. Like, this is one of the main reasons I want to get into Wanderer. Yeah, because, honestly, even the text on this card is amazing. Like, search out a, uh, what is it, a... Uh, Night of the round table. Night of the round table. Put, put it into, into play. Your, into play. Um, if it's Gawain, the one with the abs, it gets plus four, plus four, and swiftness. And uh, no, it's fantastic. It's so good. But the, th the only problem is that you do have to play the promo version of the Gawain because the one from the dual decks actually doesn't get that text. Yeah, I don't know why, but it, definitely an interesting thing from Force of Will. Um, I hope to see more of. Billy Buttons as a card in the future. Yeah, absolutely. I really hope it makes its return. I know that they've been printing them out of uh, Washington lately, but I remember when they were printing them out of Maryland. That was mm -hmm. a good time because that was around where we were. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's been difficult to get a hold of them lately, but uh, yep. hope to see in the future. Hopefully, we continue having the community waifu. I give him a yes out of 10. I give him oh my god out of 10. Uh, very extremely high tier waifu, almost at Valentina's level. I, I say it is at Valentina's level. Oof. That's strong words. <laughs> All right, on to the next. We have Alice Girl of the Link and Alice Fairy Queen. Um, this is a no-brainer here. We should just go to the rating because, again, it's Alice. We just saw her. I give her a couple points for the face on the front side. Yeah, the <laughs> face on the front <laughs> side. <laughs> she looks like she's having a good time. Yep. Or she's on drugs. One of the two. Or both. <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> Perfect. All right, next. Hey! Good waifu. That's uh, Sylvia Gil Palavrilius. And uh, Fire Magic still on the other side because we don't count the dragon. Yeah, I don't think you can raid a waifu but on her dragon form. This is a strictly non-scaly zone. Yeah. Sorry, gold scalies out there. If you if you like her for a scaly side, hey, good on you. But All Firestone. Yeah, Firestone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Joe, I'm going to let you take the reins on Sylvia for now. Uh, Sylvia's gorgeous. The red hair looks fantastic on her. Everyone loves a little fire in their life. Um, Titty's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um... Not really sure what her garb is here, but it's, it looks kind of like a traditional dress where she's just not wearing anything for her thighs. And yeah, it's just like it's got a lot of thigh in there. I, I appreciate that. Yep, a lot of thigh, nice titty, and then uh, her armor's pretty interesting, I'd say. Yeah, looks like dragon claws all over. 
Uh, it's just very interesting looking. She has a tail, but we don't talk about the tail. Nope, but... don't talk about the tail. Uh, 8 out of 10 in my book, and Joe... I, I give her a strict 10 out of 10. Yeah. I think she deserves all the points she has. She's a great waifu. Yep, top tier, very high up She there. will burn your enemies to the ground and then produce wind out of all your stones. Thank God. Only for playing Fire, fire Magic Stone Zone. Who's doing the, that? You know, the people that are burning people alive. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Next up. Uh, Mike just left the room. Um... Uh, so I guess I'm the one that's gonna have to describe Valentina because she's so good. That's Mike saying she's so good. Um, yeah, Mike, can you just come back here? <laughs> do I need to say more? Is, uh, is that I, it? Do I, I mean? Do, do you, I need to say more about her? You, you gushed all over her on the first one. I did, but look at this. <laughs> look It'll, at the, that. It only gets better. Look at the titty. Mm -hmm. Look at the gap, the leg crossed over. She looks amazing. She's the bad bitch in charge. Yep. And on the other side, she's got like a titty window in her underwater armor. Because why not? What? That's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you say anything about her while I was gone? No, just, I figured you were going to gush over anyway. Sick. <laughs> I give her uh, the highest rating possible out of 10. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that number. Yep, I don't know either. All you have to know is that it just keeps on going. Um, if you ever find where it stops, let me know, and I'll make sure to add a couple more 9s onto it. <laughs> I just give her a straight 9 out of 10. I All because of the duh, face on the backside of her. Listen, I'm, I'm not even looking at You can just paper bag that. <laughs> 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 well said. Next. Nope, 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 little girl, little boy, nope, 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 nope. Okay. That's completely confusing. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right, Dark Alice. This is, uh, I think this is our, besides Prissy, I think this is our biggest, like, difference from the norm in terms yeah. of waifus. Uh... Girl in Twilight Garb and Dark Alice Maiden of Slaughter are both fantastic looking cards mm -hmm. uh, as far as like, you know, the outfit design. She's just got like the pinstripe look down, really flowy. Um, I don't know. She's got a really cool flow to her. But is she of age? <laughs> That's a very, very good point. <laughs> we don't, we don't want to go into that, into that bad territory. Yeah. As much as I love Dark Alice as a card and would play her like all the time, especially with that goddamn scythe and her ripped up stockings. The, the, the ripped up fishnets are fantastic. Yeah, and Schrodinger's really cool. Yeah, but all being said, we cannot go any higher than 4 out of 10 for her. This is like Danger Zone. Yeah, this is literally Danger Zone for whatever we're thinking her age could be, but thinking outside of that, with all that not even considered, She's a very, very cool card. I'm also considering that she's actually insane and will murder everyone. Yeah, she also has the Hadur face in the second picture. Eh. Hadur! <laughs> it's more of an insane Hadur face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 4 out of 10, mid-tier waifu. Um, remains to be seen if she is of age to be called anything more than that. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, friend of another world, Kaguya. Kaguya the Moonlit Savior. Oh, the feet. Bandage. <laughs> Bandage feet, her dark face in the first one. Just, she's like 10. It's so bad. She's curving a bamboo. I don't even know what that means. I don't know either. How do you do that? Don't curve my bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> she's a wonder little girl. I don't. Uh, Stay away from me. 0 out of 10. Oh, the bandage on the foot. That's just gross. Add more nopes from the ref refrain screen. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, let's pull them down. Nope, 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 stop. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 better, yeah. better, 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 better. Yes. Joey, I'll let you have your fun. Alright. Shion? Alright. First of all, she can sing. Not even, like, sing, but, like, her singing, like, riles people up to start a revolution. She got great side teddy. She gets help dressing from Valentina. This is how she wants her to dress, because she owns her, basically. <laughs> the bow in the hair is fantastic. She got that baton. She, and then after she starts a revolution, is no longer being dressed. She still knows what she's doing. She got her petticoat. She got everything. Did you like the petticoats? Yes, I do. And uh, the silvery bluish hair is fantastic. It just, 
It doesn't even look dyed. It just look, that's just her natural hair and the blue eyes, perfect. And she's belting out a high quality note on the second side. And she's a traitor. The only race ra traitor resonator we have. Traitor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Chion gets all of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joe's rating is officially an affinity out of 10, while mine is a 9 out of 10. Uh, I find Shion to be fantastic, but also I give extra bonus points because when Valentina took over her body, she made her look real good in a lace top. Yep, a lace, a choker, and those eyes that just say, we're not going to say it. <laughs> yep. Uh, the bedroom eyes, we'll say. Yes. Uh, so all this culminating together, Shion is extremely high tier. Yep. Probably one of the top waifus in Force of Will. It's my top waifu. Aside from Valentina for me. Yeah. On to the next, we have Lunia the Wolf Girl and Yarlathotep the True False Legend. Uh, if you notice, we skipped over uh, Battle for Anaractia because that's all memoria from the Seven Lands. It's, it's a rock. It's a rock. You, you can't have your waifu be a rock, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, Wolf and, of Girl. and of course, uh, we also have to mention that no sets were ever printed between Battle for Adoractia and uh, Lapis Zero. Yeah, there weren't. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. You're right. Okay. We just got handed some stones and a couple of decent uh, spells. Decent. Yeah. Uh, On to the Lapis Starter decks. We have uh, the first one, of course, the Wolf Girl. Um, I personally like Lunia, Lunia a lot. I like the way that her armor and, like, her hair are, I think, is the main thing that drives me. Uh, I, I like the fact that the hair is like all like pushed together and like puts back in like one flowing mane, which kind of fits her as the wolf girl. Um, I can appreciate that. I think there is like some merit to that. Um, the only other thing I can really say about her is that I think she'd just be like dumb because she's like raised by wolves. Yeah, we could see that. But uh, the doggo picture there is a very good boy. Uh, very good boy. If I was to rate the doggo, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 100%, good boy. 100%. Uh, very good boy. Anyway, we go on to Nero, you know, except the True False Legend on the back, and I Cthulhu, and I'm just like, nope, 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 stay away. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm kind of with Joe on this one. Um, the red hair is very nice, uh, the long flowing hair. But uh, again, you don't stick your dick in crazy. Uh, Cthulhu's are the epitome of madness. Yeah, they are built in madness. Yep, absolutely. Uh, with that being said, I went with the 4 out of 10 for the front side mainly. Joe went with the 2 out of 10 for the back side. Pretty much, yeah. Let's just go with that. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's our final discovery on that. This is the highest rated C Cthulhu that I will put. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay. Good to know. Even higher than uh, what Yogg would be? Yogg's a husband, though. You're right. We'll deal with that later. Yes. <laughs> Next up, we have Mercurius, Wizard of the Water Star, and Mercurius, Dark Commander of Ice. I am a very big Mercurius fan, actually. Um, I see the horn, and I'm like, uh, what kind of issues is this? And then there's, like, the mask and the glowing eyes, and I'm like, what the heck is going on here? She's yeah. a good-looking girl. I'll give her that. That J. Rule side, though, is pretty freaky. Yeah, she looks like she's possessed, and... I'm not about that, but... Absolutely. Uh, the front side, though, I actually have points to, because if any of you are fans of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, part four, you know the character I'm talking about. She's got a very good resemblance to her, uh, a very clear-cut, uh, excellent main character or supporting character in that show. Um, so I give a couple extra points to that, and then, of course, uh, very many extra points for the tasteful underboob. Yeah, ta very tasteful. In both shots. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's a little better in the first shot, just because you the get a better shot, angle. Yeah, you get the better angle. The action shot definitely mess, definitely uh, was it shrouds them a little more. Yeah, it, I think they're a little bit more well illuminated. You don't get that natural shadow. Yeah, absolutely. So, with that being said, I went with a seven out of ten mainly for that front side. Yeah, and he won with the low tier, sorry, high tier, but bottom of that group. Bottom of the high tiers. Yes. And I went with like mid tier just because she's a little bit scary. She got a lot of power. I'll give her that. A lot but, of mana. A little freaky. Yeah, a little freaky. She a freak. Hey! hey! There we go. So, I really like Feetsing. She's got that, like, nerdy chem girl look. You know? She, you ran out of, <laughs> she ran out of a textbook a lot and uh, teaching you all about the shit that you got wrong. Yep, exactly. And on the back side, she keeps up that nerdy chemist look, but with a little bit of a dapper twist to her. Um... I know Joe's not as much of a fan of this side as he is the front side, but the tie into the one piece, almost like an elf formal wear. It, it looks like she's just wearing like a sweater vest to me. <laughs> yeah, but hey, an elf sweater vest. Yeah. Do you, you know any uh, qualms about how, 
her being an elf for uh, 20 I no, years. I have no qualms about her being an elf for 20 years. Right. Especially because so, of the thigh. Was elf. Let me see. Yep, the thigh is very the, high tier. The thigh on the front picture is just absolute perfection. And she also summons elf tokens, and the elf tokens are also very uh, attractive. Yep, depending so, on the token that you have. Yep, and so if you go by that flavor, she also brings her friends, and yeah. that's also a high tier waifu. And if you're Joe, you just pick up dandelion tokens and use those as your elf tokens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, angry help token. Angry, uh, angry elf dandy. To yeah. <laughs> angry elf token will uh, be angry at you. Yep. So with all that said, uh, I went with a 9 out of 10 for Feet Sing, because I think that uh, the uh, thigh and uh, garb in the first picture is great, and the second one keeps it very dapper. Um, I'm going to go with 10 out of 10, just because I enjoy this iteration of Feet Sing, and I also enjoy the other iterations of Feet Sing that are also make her look very good, but we don't get to represent, so I gave it the benefit of the doubt and gave her the extra point. Excellent. Good. Very good choice. High tier waifu. Speaking of very good choice, hello Zero Six Age of Light and Zero Master of the Magic Saber. Uh, this is probably like my second place waifu. Yep, I would say so. So, she's a fan of owls. I love owls. Owls are great. Yes. Um, her garb is fantastic for her. It just really brings out that Master of the Magic Saber look. It does look gorgeous. And, um,. I have to make a mention to her second artwork. If any of you are fans of the show Little Witch Academia, her outfit reminds me very much of a Shining Chariot. Uh, the big, the oversized hat with the very flowy robes and a short skirt at the end definitely do her many, many favors. And if you've ever seen uh, Zero Flashing Magus, you know who we're talking about. <laughs> That is a high tier promo, and that's the kind of asset Zero is working with, so. Yeah. You can't see it as much here, but you do get a little bit of upper thigh, which we don't get to see very often. Her pose in the second gives us a very decent amount of upper thigh. Yep, and that look down on her, on you, she's just like, you you are worthless to me, but you're with me. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, she'd step on your face and, like, call you swine, and you'd thank her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a bad bitch. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% 10 out of 10. Next to Valentina, she is the one. Now, on to Charlotte Determined Girl uh, and Charlotte the Mage of Sacred Spirit. Uh, we're back and forth on Charlotte. She looks very, very young, but also like... It seems like she would be old enough because she's sister of Faria and brother of Lars. Well, Lars right. is her brother. Lars is her brother, but <laughs> what about Faria? Faria is just a summon. No, she's a sister. Sister? Yeah. Okay. Fari is her sister, Lars is her brother. Right, okay, that's why I said. Close. <laughs> um, so, if she is of the right age, she'd be good enough, but she just looks very young. Yep. Which is kind of a problem. She looks She looks like she can really handle herself, which is great. Uh, she looks like she's got her shit together in the second picture. Remember, she's determined. She is determined, and she uh, controls the sacred spirit, which is fantastic. Um, and she's got a ball of fire which is pretty badass. She refills your hand, she can't be attacked, so, you know, so, no domestic violence. Exactly. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> oh. They're well, going to be bleep that out, too. <laughs> um, but, anyway, uh, with that being said, unfortunately we couldn't give Charlotte much more of a score than, like, the 2 out of 10 or 1 out of 10, because, again, indeterminable age. Uh, she seems like she can handle herself well, but she seems too young. Her, her, her defense is basically her age. That's what it looks like. 1,200? <laughs> <laughs> no, 12. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Glorious Man's Crusader and Faria, Ruler of Divine Beasts. Um, points slightly taken off for Glorious being completely creepy. shrouded and creepy. Yeah. It's just like white mask, white body that's trying to be malish. Yep. Eh. And then she pops out. She's got tigers and claws and tattoos and a big sword and Fari's got a lot going on for her here. Yep, it's definitely a really good look for her. She's got that big tiger. It's really nice. And she's not only she's a human, she's a divine beast. Which, which is which is way better than being a beast, because beasts are just like, you know Well beast animals. Well, you know, you could always uh, press a call to arm action a uh, beast, but you can't do that to a divine beast. You're right. Divine beasts are above that. <laughs> <laughs> They're above getting swiftness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just get whatever this is. So, uh, with that being said, Fari is decent tier. I give her a 7 out of 10 for how awesome she looks in this picture and all the extra little markings she gets from the power granted to her by the worst waifu. 
<laughs> by the worst waifu. Yeah, first year. Uh, right. But, um, yeah, I think she looks better in her first iteration. Mike has the opposite opinion. Um, I think this is a good look for her, but I think the first art of her is just the best she's going to look. Agree to disagree? Agree to disagree. Shake, we should, we should fans Still again. a good waifu. Still a good waifu. Speaking of bad waifus... Uh, I don't want to talk about this one. <laughs> I barely want to talk about this one either. It's, uh... They do water Valentina, quote, they, unquote. When I heard about this card, I was like, oh man, they made another Valentina, and then all of a sudden I look at the artwork for it, and it's just like, eh? And then it's, quote, Valentina, unquote, release terror. Yeah. It's Valentina in Perseus' body. It doesn't work. Valentina's too bad of a bitch to be in this. Yeah. I mean, I guess you take what you can get when you get murdered, but... Yeah. Like, eh. Couldn't have chosen something better. Yeah, Val. <laughs> and again, her sense of style is great. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the bad bitch clothing is still there. She's got a, the biggest fucking royalty coat I've ever seen. Mm hmm. And on the backside, it's just purple hands. Yeah. Kind of like creating nightmares. Yeah. And, uh,. The her J really side just doesn't speak to me at all. This is one of those rollies that I wanted to be playable and it's just like I couldn't do it. Nope. Uh, zero to ten for me. And I went with minus five because stop using Valentina's name. You don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> now the Valentina 1.0 and 2.0 have rotated and this is the only one we have. It's, the name has been besmirched. I mean, there's other Valentinas. Yeah. Hopefully we get more Valentinas. Yeah, hopefully more rulers. Mm, please. Next. Hey, Lumia, the fate of her birth, and Lumia Saint with the Crimson Lotus. Told you we'd be coming back here. Yeah, and this is a very good reset for Lumia. A rebirth, if you will. <laughs> hey! Clever. Thanks. Um, she's definitely got the titty going for her. Finally, yeah. And the last picture, really couldn't tell because her outfit was kind of busy and kind of dweeby looking. In this one, she was just all elegance all the time. Um, and her first artwork looked... It was kind of hard to tell what colors her hair were. And this one's very easy to tell that it's blonde and brown. Yeah. And those are both very healthy colors. Exactly. So I think it works out a lot better for her in this. And um, also just looking at her outfit in this, on her j Lewis side, that is a fantastic outfit for her. Absolutely. The tiny frilled skirt, the armored, the boob armor with like nothing else on it. Yeah, that like hangs off of from... Her the arm, <laughs> yeah. like I don't even know how that's staying on her. It's it's such a mystery, but at the same time, I don't want to know because it's so mesmerizing. Yeah, um, and she's got the power of Nyarlathep. I don't know what that means for what she does, but it's probably good. Yep, I'd and, say so. And if you you know, she's got this like crazy like clubbing look on the right side, but on the left side, you, she has a little bit more of a conservative look. Yeah, and and occasionally she'll bring her friend Rachel over, and they'll just all just hang out and have a good time. You know, she'll they'll flash a little bit, and then yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it happens. And then your and then your library's gone. Yep, <laughs> your deck. <laughs> so uh, that being said, give her an eight out of ten. Lumia has uh, definitely shown what she has in this picture here and in uh, this ruler iteration. Yep, nine out of ten for me. I think this is one of those high tier waifus. If the only you get a little bit of a point off for uh, trauma because she's just. Uh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Very good wife. Top tier wife. Uh, hopefully she doesn't stay top tier in the meta forever. I would hope not. She's 1.5 right now, I think. Yeah, that's still pretty high. Yep. Considering she's never been lower than that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up on the list, Kaguya Tears of the Moon and Kaguya Millennium Princess. Uh, back to this. <laughs> yeah. The cr ugly crying... A small child on the first side is not a good start. Nope, not at all. Yeah, it kind of ruins everything. Giant bunny, though. That that's Giant fun. bunny's great. Giant bunny comforting her. 10 out of 10 bunny. But then on the back side, you see her kind of like get her shit back together. Uh, the outfit is fantastic. I love the kind of symmetry behind it. It's very reminiscent of the uh, Kaguya that we saw earlier. Yeah, it, exactly. It's almost like a reimagining of that artwork, which is a positive. I think this is a better uh, outfit for her. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, again, the crying on the front and just knowing that she's still this weird little girl, 2 out of 10 for me. 1 out of 10, I can't get past the, just seeing the front side. You can't look at that and then say, yep, I'm gonna waifu that. Yep, exactly. Not a chance. Low, very, very low tier. Sorry. Not sorry. <sighs> uh, 
You, you can you can take over here, Joe. I I can. Oh. Um. So here's another Prissia. Great. Um. Front side's got still Valentina's sense of style. Definitely a good look for her. No knocks there. Thigh high is great. A little bit of thigh showing the skirt. Everything's going good for her. But every time I look at that backside, that's the first thing I see. The second <laughs> thing I see is just like, am I dead? <laughs> yep. The, the trauma points are added in here. Uh, also, all I see are the butt wings. Yeah, those butt wings. They, I, they just, they don't belong down there. I don't understand. Is there a bird behind her? Can someone explain this to me? I can't tell. Also, her dress is like a piece of paper draped over her, where it's like a little bit of boob. But it's not a lot of boob because she's fucking twelve. Yeah. It's just too much. It's too much skin for. I mean, how she's she looks. she's definitely a D. Like C, I'd say thirty-eight C. Come on. <laughs> it's like a thirty-six D. Uh, All right, but but either way, she's. She still just looks way too young. Yep, absolutely. She, so on the front side, she looks like she like came into her age. She just like she is eighteen now, but then she just looks like a child again because of the, the face. Yep, and the, the fang. Uh, she's so weird. Yeah, just a weird neko. Yep. So, um, also uh, can't forget to add in extra trauma points. If you'll remember my score for Prissy, you'll remember that the first one I gave a zero out of ten. This one also adds in the uh, trauma points and the fact that Valentina is gone from her. So, uh, with all that being said, uh, this is my negative score for the review. It's a negative 10 out of 10. Yeah, I I honestly had to make an honest review for what I think of her as a waifu, so I'm going to say it's a 5 out of 10. If if you're going to like Prissia, this is the Prissia you're going to like. Okay, I'll let it go. <laughs> but if you're not going to like Prissia, like me, and other same people... And me. <laughs> yep, then uh, minus 10 out of 10 is the right score for you. <laughs> Why did you print this card for us? Well, did you... It's just too much damage. <laughs> oh. Dragon Shrine Maiden. Flute Time Altering princess, Priestess. Uh, flute's cute. I, I, one cost judgment. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, not, stop going to the text, Joe. <laughs> we're not going to the text, Joe. This is this is a true Force of Will review. <laughs> She's got horns. That's great. <laughs> um, I don't know. The whole thing about her being trapped in, like, a box for most of her life is kind of sad. Yeah, that's pretty gross. And then, like, yeah. she just reminds me of, like, Naoi and Tiki, and I'm just not into those either. Yeah, definitely not happening. Don't want to go to jail. Not a very good wife for that. Jailbait, and... I mean, I like her hair in the second picture. Yeah. But the weird, like, stamp on her forehead is a problem. Yeah, honestly... She's, like, marked. Basically, that means she can't go into nightclubs. <laughs> uh, it's one of those things where if you go in and you get the red X, you can't drink there. Right. They won't let her in because she's stamped. Uh, when you go in, she won't be, you won't be stamped. But again, she looks so young, they're stamping her. They're going to ID her, and they're probably going to ID you if you go in with her. <laughs> and then they're going to probably question you and maybe call the cops. Maybe probably call the cops. cops. <laughs> so, uh, 1 out of 10 for me. I went with a 2 out of 10. I, she's got a fair amount of titty, and she's using it well. So yeah. I guess there's that. It, Careful where you're saying that. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> Again, 2 I out of 10. It, she's still a bottom tier waifu. Yep. She's cute, but not waifu Like, material. she's playing with a hula hoop on her backside. Like, I don't know what to say. She's like, a child. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, no rating there. Sorry, bad waifu. Yep. But, on the opposite side of that, we got a good waifu here. All right, we are not talking about the original art of Shayla. That art doesn't exist anymore. We've got this artwork. This is the artwork that we're sticking with. Yep, this is the artwork. Yes, this is Shayla and Shayla, the mermaid princess. So uh, Shayla obviously is uh, a mermaid with thighs, which is great. There's nothing bad you can say about a mermaid with thighs. Exactly, That's the one thing that you wish a mermaid has. Exactly, so, like she's got the midriff and the mermaid tail, and she can breathe underwater, and she's got a parasol which shoots lightning. Ye I mean, that's probably dangerous as hell, all hell, but I'm into it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if you're into that shit, Shayla's got the parasol for you. And... Um, the one thing I will say on her front side, the um, her brown hair looks like a fish trying to eat her head. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really funny <laughs> now that I <laughs> notice that. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> but it's really cute. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also, a very important thing to note on her front side, as compared to her original artwork, 
she got titty now. Like, a lot of titty compared to the old art. Like, the other one, it was just, like, flat. Yeah, she looked really young. Yeah, but this one, she looks like... She definitely aged. Yeah, she so absolutely aged. And remember, she always makes it rain. She <laughs> always makes it rain. She making money out at Fall And then fall she brings everywhere. the thunder. Oh, wow, 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 oh, wow, oh. Thunder. <laughs> so, uh... We haven't even started talking about the backside either. We've got... Look at that backside. Yeah, she's just like... Look at the way she's like pointing downward. She's like, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> like, she has all her shit together. She is just like ready to go. She's got um, all of her thunderfish. Yep. And they're gonna, I don't know, make your thing not untap. <laughs> exactly. See, she's gonna make sure that your opponent's stuff doesn't untap, but you are. And she'll tap that. <laughs> <laughs> Well said, well said. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I tried my best. I know, I know, I know, I know. She's too kind. Anyway, Mike couldn't give her the highest rating. See, the reason for my 7 out of 10 compared to Joe's 8 out of 10, if you wife her up, you have to get a beachside property in order to make sure that she's comfortable. I'm fine with that. I would love to have a beachside listen, property. Listen, <laughs> listen, but I know, I know, I would too, but the amount of money that it would take to do that, I just don't have the finances for that. Um, maybe one day if I get a job worthy of Shayla, where I could just, like, you know, make enough money to really... She's a princess. That. She probably has plenty of money. Oh, my God. But it's probably, like, bubble money. Mm. As long as it buys me a beach house, I'm fine with it. Yeah, anyway, sure. 8 out of 10 for me. I think she's fantastic. Mermaid with thigh is all I need to say. 7 out of 10, mermaid with titty. Doesn't even make sense. All the sense. mermaids have titties. Doesn't even make sense, though. Fish have scales. They, they're cold-blooded. They don't drink milk. Mm. <laughs> Logic. Anyway, uh, continuing on here, we've got Rhea, fourth daughter of the Mikage, and Rhea, fourth daughter of the Mikage. And whenever I see this card, I'm like, damn, I wish the uh, other three Mikage daughters were on this list. Yep. Especially Yashihime. Uh, oh, Yashihime can get it. <laughs> um, anyway, so Rhea is basically just another zero, except more... Dead. Anemic? <laughs> <laughs> more dead? <laughs> anemic. Yeah. <laughs> she needs blood. <laughs> She's anemic zero. Uh, without the tasteful ass. And, no, she kind of has it. She's got some ass. She's got a little bit of ass, but she doesn't have the poisoned, um, what else about Zero? Just like... Zero just does it better. Yeah, Zero's just the bad bitch. Yeah. Rhea's just kind of looks like a young Zero, and we're definitely into the older Zero, so... Yeah, I would say so. Um, like, her I'll... sword's cool, I guess. Yeah. I remember, uh, Mike lost a whole sword and went to that sword. Yep. <laughs> sword of the half moon! <laughs> it just kept coming back. Always comes back. Um, Owl's pretty cool, I guess. Just kind of like... I like, uh, Zero's Familiar more than that Owl. Yeah, Especially since that Owl doesn't have a card. Exactly. Um, but overall, Vampire, if you like getting your blood sucked, she's probably good at sucking other things. You're right. Uh, another thing, she's got a uh, glass in her hand in the front first picture that I didn't actually notice until now. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that's uh, blood, a Bloody Mary, or like a uh, well, just like tomato juice in let, general. Let's just hope it's not ketchup. Yeah, if she's, so. just, if she's just straight drinking ketchup, her rating drops like four ratings, I'd say. I'm assuming it's blood just because it's a vampire. And, I, and I'm also just kind of assuming that she's doing the whole, what is a man? And throws the wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I really hope so. But with that case, uh, 6 out of 10 for us. Uh, she's not zero. Yeah, we both agreed on it. it just I, She has a lot of potential here, but I think she's missing a lot of the titty, and she's just missing a lot of, like, what makes zero zero, especially with that really pale skin and those blood red eyes. It's just yep. really off putting. Yep. She's got the up thigh, which is nice, but not the same kind of up thigh we needed from our old zero. Uh, also, I'm noticing now, like, this giant wing that's on both artworks. Is yeah. that a part of her? I, I think it is. It's, I, I, think, I think she's got butt wings. No, it's a part of her um, her robe. Ooh. It's a part of the sleeve. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I never even noticed that. Okay. That's. That's sick. Um, addendum, 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, to say the least. I'll yep. keep my 6 out of 10. Yep. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, it's okay. Pandora. <laughs> Golems are the worst. Golems Oops. are the worst. Pandora's the worst. Uh, nope. Anybody who wipes up Pandora here is just the worst. Like, you had so many other iterations of Pandora. Both of the other ones were fine. They had thigh highs. They had dark and light attribute. This is just a small child. It's a small child with some big machines. That aren't usable because you have to 
pay more than they're worth. Yeah, it's just, uh... I mean, sure, you get, you can, she can, like, make the golems, like, one golem a turn worthwhile, but it's garbage. We're not even gonna talk about the golems, we're just gonna talk about the She's face. got them in her picture, like, you gotta talk about them. I mean, yeah, you're right. I, I can't look past those golems, like, Pandora's cute, but she needs to get, like, ten years older. Yep. And the fact that you can only judgment her with three golems on the board, that's just awful. Let's just look at the face on the backside. Look at the face on the backside. Look at the face on, on the, the backside! backside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pandora. She's not a waifu, I'm sorry. Nope, absolutely not a waifu. At least waifu possible. Just, nope, nope, nope. Nope, can we bring down some of the nopes from Reflect Moon Frame? It's too far away. It's too far away? Alright, we're gonna bring down Spirit. Nope, 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 nope stop. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, 0 out of 10 for both of us. Shit yep. to your waifu. Uh, Freyla and Freyla the Revolutionist. Um, I like Freyla a little bit just because she looks like Valentina, because there's a big gaping hole in my heart where Valentina used to be. I look at Freyla and I see, like, someone that needs to eat more. Yeah... It and does not look like she should be able to support herself. Yeah, like, you know, she looks like a frame. <laughs> <laughs> frame. <laughs> she just looks like a wooden, like, I don't know, foundation. I like her outfit in the first picture, though, a lot. Yeah, and like, then those... just the same thing in white in the next picture, though. The second one looks like she's wearing a diaper, though. Yeah. That's just, that's just... There's a lot of problems with Freyla. Yeah. She got the Hada face. She does have the deaf face. She's not in the first art. Uh, the ruler side, I totally fucks with. I'm very okay with the ruler side. J ruler side, a little bit to be desired. I'm, I'm not into pigtails like that, where it's just like really tight to the head and then it becomes pigtails. Right. Looks weird to me. And then she just doesn't have anything I'm looking for. Yeah, exactly. So with that she's part, a revolutionist. I guess that's something that I look for. <laughs> yeah, true. Except just not the same kind of revolutionist. She's not a traitor. Traitor. That's a very important distinction. Uh, so with that being said, 3 out of 10 in my book. Again, I like the front side a little more than the back side. I say 2 out of 10. I can't get over the fact that she just looks like she needs to eat some food. <laughs> looks like she's been starved for a little bit. She might have been. Dark Elves were pretty oppressed. Yeah. So... Uh, that being said, uh, we're skipping over favor. I know that people say that there are no uh, male there's elves. They're just extremely masculine woman elves. Yeah, it's something like that. Something I, like that, yeah. I think it's something out of Tolkien lore. Yeah. We'll, we'll research that later. If anybody, if any Tolkien nerds want to correct us on that, please do. <laughs> please. Uh, next up, we got Ayu, Lunar Swordswoman, and Ayu, Shaman Swordswoman. Uh, Ayu looks so young. Eh... <laughs> I'd say she looks like decent age. She looks like she's in her low twenties. She doesn't look like a teenager. I think, I think late teens. Really? Yeah. I, just like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think she has enough like definition in her face to say that she's like low twenties. I can see it. Yeah. Then again, also wear rabbits just kind of screw the whole thing up. I mean, she has ears. Like she's got ears. The rabbit ears are cute. I don't know. Does she have actual ears in her under her hair? Um, just out of curiosity, I, you don't see it. Nope, don't see it. Um, I am a little bit concerned about having that many souls in your body. Like, does that mean you're like gonna have like multiple personality disorder? A little creepy. A little bit. But you know, she's shapely. She's got the thigh highs, everything that we've been looking for in other uh, uh, waifus. So she's got some good points here, and they get much better once you go to rebellious soul. <laughs> yep, absolutely. And that's where. Uh... Yeah, she basically came out of her shell, and that's like, you really can tell that she was she's twenty, at least. And the way that she handles that sword, mm, she likes that sword all right. So, um, yeah, uh, both of our ratings are eight for the <laughs> rebellious soul Ayu. Um, we basically just put this in our cube just for the artwork. Yep, pretty much. It's a good card though. But. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the other Ayus, I'd say like what five or six ish. Yeah, Good knowing team. knowing that this rebellious IU is the same IU though, it kind of brings up her st score. Yep, exactly. Because right. you get to know a lot more of what she's working with. Exactly, and I would like to learn much more about what she's working with here. All right, next. Uh, we've got Princess of Fleeting Hope. I'm a Princess of Despair. Uh, early Lumia. Yeah, she looks all right. I like the uh, black and white aesthetic. Yeah, black and white aesthetic is really nice. I think it works really well with what she is. Um, I don't know if she's like lying down in the first picture, like on her side, but it's a very like it's a pretty seductive look. Yep, absolutely. And on the second look, 
We've got midriff and thighs. We've got... And she looks like a boss-ass bitch again. I mean, she's a boss-ass bitch again. Uh, all of this just kind of culminating together. You see the one red eye and the one black eye instead of the blue eye. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. The angel and devil wings. That could be your angle or your devil. <laughs> Plus to anyone who knows that reference. Yep. And, uh, yeah, she's just pretty rad, honestly. She looks like she's going to get her work done. She's going to do it, and you're going to like it. She's going to invert. You're going to dog the earth her, and she's not even going to care. <laughs> now you're going to wince. Not even. She's going to be like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> And then you can kill her over and over again because you got the imperishable. She's going to drain the shit out of you. <laughs> you know, I know I know one thing that she could drain from me. This tall glass of milk. <laughs> this tall glass of milk. <laughs> uh, 6 out of 10 for me. I went with the 7 out of 10. I think she's really owning her look really well. Could be a very good waifu. It's a little bit... She doesn't... She's not getting as high as the first Lumia just because she's very evil and that could mean, like, yeah, crazy. Yep. But also you get a ton of midriff and uh, thighs. And but, I am a big fan of midriff and thighs. There's a lot of pros to be said there. Mm -hmm. And that first dress, just another conservative look for her. She can do both. Yep. Get you a girl who can do both. Yep. Uh, next up, uh, Speaker of Eternal Night and Shahrazad of the Catastrophic Nights... So, uh, there's not much to look at on the J-Ruler side. Let's just start there. Yeah, it's just a bunch of dolls and then her like, oh, no! My face with uh, a book, and that's all you see. Yep. And then the front side, dangly legs! She doesn't look like she's walked a day in her life. She's been skipping leg day her whole life. <laughs> she doesn't even know what leg day is. She probably haven't, hasn't seen her legs in years. Like... <sighs> Like, I know she's trying to do, like, the floaty puppet aesthetic, but... Girl, work on your legs. That just looks gross. Yeah. And also, she's got, like, jester pants on. They're really poofy. Yeah. It's not like a skirt or anything. It's, there's not, there's nothing waifu-y about this. There's not. She's, like, a court jester. Like, you wouldn't want to wife her up. You'd want her just, like, to sit by the fireplace and watch her dance around for a little bit. <laughs> on those dangly, weird legs. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully she doesn't break one because the things look like toothpicks. She, she would stand and break her legs. <laughs> so, but I, uh, I guess you can read me about the time story. Why not? Uh, as long as the story isn't uh, Black Tears. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I gave it a 3 out of 10 rating. Um, looking past the dangly legs and the weird poofy pants and the uh, everything else. How the fuck? <laughs> How do you get up to this 3 out of 10? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking past them. It's still Sherry. Okay. I, and I do like Sherry's, like, headdress and poison stuff. Uh, that's always been one of my favorite aesthetics, but everything else is just, like, very non-waifu. Uh, I... Even if you look at the other iterations of Scheherazade, this is unredeemable. Like, the other Scheherazade looks much different than this, and has her own, like, aesthetic to her. This just doesn't match it, so I'm just like, alright, this is, this is Sherry, this is how it's gonna be, this is a one out of ten. Yep. Sorry. Fair enough, fair enough. Bad waifu. Bad waifu. Bad waifu. And then lastly, we have the ducks. The 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 the, the ducks. Girl. The duck. The duck girl. The duck girl. <laughs> and Scarlet the Crimson Beast. Um, so dusk girl, white hair, uh, little red riding hood garb, but no titty. Yep, no titties. She's got forbidden fruits falling out of her basket. And uh, then Scarlet is. It just has those eyes that just make me scream, I'm going to stay on the opposite side of the bedroom as you if we're going <laughs> to stay together. Uh, she's a Cthulhu. We know the bonus points that Joe gives for Cthulhu's. Yeah, negative seven. <laughs> yeah, negative. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, she wears the Red Riding Hood garb well, but I think any of the waifus would do it well. Yep. It's just a very Especially good... Red Riding Hood. Yeah. That's a good waifu. <laughs> That's a very good waifu. Um, 9 out of 10. Yeah, Scarlet <laughs> scares the shit out of me. I would not be near her. Yep, uh, 2 out of 10 in my book. 1 out of 10 for me. Just not not waifu material. Uh, don't stick your dick in embodiments of insanity. Yeah, that's that's good advice to live by. I live by that every day of my life. Me too. Very good. Jolly cooperation. Handshake again. Another handshake. Those three handshakes if you all are counting at home. But uh, anyway, thank you all for... Watching. 
Uh, this has been, if you couldn't tell our wife a review, I hope all of you coming here expecting a really, really hard-hitting review of all the rulers of Force of Will were extremely disappointed and happy. Alright, um... I do want to say thank you all for a thousand subs. This was our one thousand subs yeah. special. So <laughs> honestly, um, this is a landmark that we never thought we that I personally never thought we'd reach. We started out as like a pretty small hobby channel, but people seem to like our stupid memes. Yep, and we wanted to really just go home with the memes today. Just take yep. it all away. <laughs> exactly. So first of all, thank you to all of you out there. Uh, thank you to Anthony, Mr. Bowater Stewart for this lovely uh ending card here yeah um the only other thing i want to say is um i hope you all unsubscribe for this and uh we hope to reach a thousand subs again very soon <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right this is deep wood signing, signing out. out take care guys <laughs>